Hey guys, welcome back to Black Tide TV. In today's video, I have some Call of Duty World War II for you. I was originally going to use this gameplay to talk about the Tommy gun when it was first released into Call of Duty World War II, and I was going to also speculate on some of the extra weapons that might be coming to Call of Duty World War II in the future. However, it would appear that there's been a leak or something. I've heard that there's a leak with the full weapons list for the game. So obviously I'm not going to make that video anymore and I'm not one for speculating on leaks. I'm not one for making videos and being like, hey, look at this crazy thing that's going to completely ruin the developers' lives because the entire game got leaked online. I don't like to do that. I like to actually wait until the game comes out. I'm a pretty casual player. I'm not crazy about that kind of stuff. I'll read into it sometimes, but I'm not going to come out and make a ton of videos talking about every single thing that got leaked. So instead, I thought we could use the gameplay for a commentary about the channel itself because there's some pretty big changes going on around the channel that I'd like to let you guys know about. The first of which being that I am, once again, a full-time content creator here on YouTube and on other platforms. If you didn't know, I had a summer job this previous summer from May until just now. October. So I've been laid off. I'm getting employment insurance or whatever, but I'm also just back to making full time videos. One video every single day here on Black Tide TV. And with that comes, well, the monetary compensation part. I have to plug this. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys don't like it when creators plug their Patreon page and stuff like that, but. My Patreon, my PayPal, stuff like that is always linked in the description down below. You guys can support on Patreon for as little as $1 each month, and that'll get your name in the description credits of every single video, and I'll give you a Twitter shout out for that as well. It's $1 up to as many dollars as you can give to support the channel, the upkeep, getting more games, getting more content created every single day. It helps out way, way more than you know. So if you have the change to spare, it would be super appreciated, but... That is all I have to do for plugging Patreon. For the rest of the video, we're talking schedule, we're talking new games coming up, we're talking Twitch. So, first things first, the schedule. I've been playing with the schedule recently. I was trying some different ways to produce videos. I was trying making multiple videos on one single game in a row. I tried alternating videos, so every single video, there is a different game being played. Unfortunately, that's kind of difficult because I only really do Destiny and Call of Duty at this point, and even though I can switch between Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, World War II, it's all still Call of Duty. So, basically, I'll be doing daily videos, and I'll be alternating as much as I can, but for the most part, it's going to be completely randomized. Whatever videos that I have planned for the day are just going to be there, and I'll always let you guys know, or most of the time, I'll let you guys know on Twitter beforehand what my video for the day is going to be, if it's going to be Destiny, if it's going to be Call of Duty, if it's going to be one of these other games that we'll be talking about in the future that are coming up. So, the commentary itself, all of the videos that, been, that I'll be making from this point forward are going to be more casual, relaxed ga gameplay commentaries like you're seeing in today's video. In, in the past, I've tried doing like heavy edits and making sure that everything is perfect and making it like... TV quality kind of content, like trying very, very hard to make everything sound really professional and really uh, scripted when really I don't really do scripts. I've done a couple in the past, back in Black Ops 3 for my Golden Weapon reviews, I did scripts because I had a lot of information to talk about, but I haven't been doing the super informative stuff. I'm mostly just giving my opinion on a lot of things and giving you my reviews, like for the weapons that are going to be coming out in World War II, I'll probably have a weapon review kind of series. But it's not going to be like a drifter in depth. It's not going to be like a super crazy, this is how much damage this weapon does at 105 meters. I, I could care less about that stuff. I think the way that you use a weapon in game is more important. So I want to give you guys little tips and tricks on how to use the weapons, how I personally feel with the weapons in my hand. That's the kind of stuff that I want to give you guys in my content. Not super informative, crazy, in-depth, detail stuff, mathematics and whatever. I just want to talk to you guys. It's like a super casual channel. I'm a, I'm a regular gamer. I play all kinds of games and I want to talk to you guys about it. I want to have a conversation in the comment section. And I don't want to bog you guys down with too much scientific crap. So that's the kind of commentary you can expect in the future. As for games, we've got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I've still got a bunch of videos that i got to make for that before World War II comes out. 
Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I have two or three videos planned, and that's, that's going to wrap up that content because they haven't been updating Modern Warfare Remastered anymore. I made a recent video on that, which you can find in the description credits of today's video. I'll obviously do, be doing Call of Duty World War II. That's coming out in like two weeks now. Super excited for that. Hopefully, it doesn't get demonetized too badly. And again, that's where that Patreon stuff really, really comes in handy because if I'm not relying on AdSense revenue, if I'm relying on Patreon revenue, it makes making World War II videos and other Call of Duty content that's going to be demonetized a lot easier. I don't have to worry about videos being demonetized because... Truth be told, if World War II videos, if they don't fix the problem with the World War II videos and all of those videos start to get demonetized, I might not be able to continue making World War II videos. I might have to jump back to Infinite Warfare, which a lot of people wouldn't be happy about. I don't think there's anything left to talk about in Modern Warfare Remastered, so I couldn't jump back to that. I might just have to go full-time Destiny and other content. Speaking of other content, I currently have a poll up on my Twitter page, also linked in the description credits, where I'm asking you guys which kind of first-person shooter you'd like to see on the channel. I actually put up four options, but it's definitely not confined to those four. In my poll, I've asked you guys to pick out a popular first-person shooter, because that's the content we do on this channel, and to let me know if you'd like to see content from that. So I have Overwatch, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is coming up soon, Rainbow Six Siege, which a lot of people seem to really like, I haven't even experienced that game in the slightest, and Battlefield 1, which I did try the beta, I wasn't the biggest fan, but Battlefield is still a big thing, and until the next Battlefield game comes out in 2018, that's going to probably fill the content if you guys are interested in that so head over there you've got a day left to vote on that poll or you can just tweet at me at black tie tv let me know what kind of first person shooter you'd be interested in so i'll be continuing to stream first person shooter content on this channel i think i'm going to be doing a wolfenstein stream very soon like the campaign stream but in terms of streaming other games because i want to really focus dial in on the first person shooters here I'll also be streaming on Twitch. You might have noticed around the channel, like the banners and stuff like that recently on my Twitter page, there's a little Twitch logo now, and that's because I have reinitialized my Twitch streaming. I haven't streamed yet on Twitch, but it's going to be, again, a super casual stream. We'll just be playing through some games. I'm currently playing Shadow of Mordor, or Shadow of War, I should say, on my own time, and I might be streaming that very soon. So my Twitch is going to be linked in the description credits of every single video and all the good stuff. So if you want to head over there and follow me on Twitch, that would be super appreciated as well. But that is it for my update video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. What are you excited for on the channel? Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to Black Tide TV, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.